Hey, I'm Brad, and welcome back to Overkill Reviews. If you're new here, we do metal reviews twice a week, every week, across the entire spectrum of the metal and heavy music continuum. That's a good word. Anyway, uh, one thing to note, though, is that we will no longer be doing two reviews on one day. We're going to be spreading them out. Uh, so there will be one coming out on Friday and one coming out at the beginning of the week so that we can break things up for you a little bit. So without further ado, let's get to this week's review from me. It's my first review for a band from Japan. All the way from Osaka, Japan, this is Crossfaith and their album Ex Machina, out today, August 3rd, on Unified Music Group. They formed in 2006, and this is their fifth studio album. The internet tells me that some of them used to play in a new metal band, which makes sense considering new metal had the turntables and samples, and this is also heavily influenced by electronic music, you know, EDM, dubstep, in their metalcore sound. It's colloquial, yeah. colloquial, 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 commonly known as electronic core, which is a word that I hope I never have to say again. As far as the good, you've already heard my favorite part on the album, the song The Perfect Nightmare. Uh, when it starts out, the electronic elements feel less like a super techno party and they're kind of unsettling. And then blast beats come in. And then after that, they've got like a, like a metalcore riff, you know, kind of like as I lay dying, God forbid. And then at the end, they've got a brutal breakdown. It kind of uses the metalcore formula without leaning too hard on the electronic side of things. Yeah, I just spent a long time talking about one track, and again, that's because that's pretty much the only track that I liked. There are other parts on this album that are good, but as far as a complete song, that's really the only one that stuck with me. On the closing original song, Daybreak, there's a cool kill switch riff, there's some cool breakdowns. There are cool parts, but not a lot of cool songs. Unfortunately, with a shortage on the good, we have to talk about the bad. Why does this sound like a fucking hockey game, like pump up music? This sounds like Blessed by a Broken Heart removed their self aware sense of humor, got body checked and in a fight with Bring Me The Horizon Suicide Season, and they both get fucking five minute major penalties for making me fucking listen to this. And then later in this song, and this is something that happens throughout the album, it's the choruses just get way too close to pop punk or post hardcore. It just gets real sappy. A Couple songs later, you get to the song Destroy, which continues with their focus on the bouncy, simplistic side of metalcore. There's not a lot of riffs. It's like boom, 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 boom. That song has the rap crew horror on it, which is spelt, just for context, H O nine nine O nine. And it's really hard to draw numbers in the air backwards. So props to me. Anyway, uh, somehow that song is less metal, less hip hop inspired than the one that follows which is called Freedom, and it has Homeboy from Enter Shikari on it, and I'm sorry for what I'm about to do, but uh, play that shit. Yes, yes. Now I'm so nervous. I'll be living for convenience, or I'll be living for the moment. What's the plan? Is it genius? So I'll be static, I'll be frozen to the spot. Like, like a 
derelict city Every street neglected, forgot And the silence is broken by my breath I don't know what the end goal of this song was, but it's just weird. When this weird middle section rap part comes in and he's like, yes, yes, I'm like, no, no, let's not go here. But they did. Uh, and yeah, I mean, for what it's worth, I mean, that's the weirdest part on the album. But elsewhere you get stuck in some weird rave with robots. Visualize that. And there's a lot of video game vibes here. Not that the songs sound directly like songs from video games, but it's got the same kind of driving, triumphant feel that's really corny. If I was killing a bad guy, this might make me feel badass. But when I'm sitting here with my headphones, I just feel like a fucking dork. And then there's also the, like an electronic interlude later on in the album. Don't get me started on that. Actually, get me started on that. I got a story to tell you. I was on my way home last night. You know those Facebook videos where it's like, Jimmy thought that he was saving Toby's life, but in the end, Toby really saved his. Cry emoji. Anyway, the backing music for that stuff is like, you know, generic electronic music. And I swear to God, this intro was on. Preparing for this, I didn't even notice that I had clicked on that video and that the music has changed. I thought it was just a bad transition. So, that says it all. This is music for fucking Facebook pet cry videos. So let me try to pull together all these thoughts into a verdict for you here. When metalcore, the new wave of American heavy metal, the kill switch engage kind of thing, when that, that kind of eventually split and it went into two different factions. The people who liked the heavier stuff kind of got into more deathcore stuff. And the people who got into, or who were more into the melodic stuff got into the keyboards with breakdown stuff. This was very much a time and a place sound. And 10 years removed from that, it just sounds dated, not in a chic inspired way, just in a, this is still happening, really? It's just stale and not fresh. I actually wore my Winds of Plague shirt today to prove to you that I am not diametrically opposed to keyboards in metal or that 2008 shit. So I don't want to hate this, but I can't with a good conscience recommend this for fans of heavy music. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this one out of five skulls. Sorry. So we're always getting comments telling us to cover bands from other countries. Fair play, we did make the Global Metal documentary. This band's from Japan. What are we missing from Japan? What are your favorite heavy bands? Please comment them down below, uh, whether they broke up a long time ago, but especially if they have new material coming up. Speaking of new music, I'm gonna give some shout outs now of stuff that is out or is coming out. The first one is actually gonna be one of my favorite bands from Japan. They're called Palm. Their new album is out at the end of August and it's called To Live Is To Die, To Die Is To Live. Funnily enough, there's also a band who's putting out a new album today called Manticora and their album is also called To Kill, To Live, To Kill. So combine those, you got To Live Is To Die, To Die Is To Live, To, li to Kill, To Live, To Kill. Woo! Anyway. Other albums out this week, Surreption, who are a technical death metal band from Sweden, and a split between Integrity, who you know I love uh, their take on dark hardcore, with Krieg, a black metal band. Dark hardcore, black metal, not the same genre. Both got that darkness, so it kind of makes sense. Anyway, all those are releases that I think are worth checking out. Please subscribe. Please hit that bell to get notifications, because remember, we're on a new schedule now. So you might not remember that we're putting out a video at the start of the week. The bell will remind you.